Hey guys, it's Zach from Math for Animals here, and we're going to be going over a rumor that I heard that extends the range of your car keys if you stick them to your head. And I really don't believe it, so we're out on the field to test it out. Here we are guys, just right outside the car, and we're just going to make sure that the car keys still work, and we're going to be looking for that flash when we go farther away. I'm going to count off the paces, and every 20 we're going to take a stop and see if it still works normally. One, two, three. We are 20 yards, and we're going to see if it still works. And it does. Now we're at 40 yards and we're going to see if it still works. And it does. And we are now at 60 yards and it doesn't work. But if you put it to your head, yeah. it works. The car is out of range for the keys to work, so we're going to try something. Uh, maybe putting it to your brain. It works! What if it fries your brain? Does it fry your brain? That would be horrible. Did it lock my brain up? That works. Can I try after you? Does it fry your brain? Does it do anything? It works. It works. So I went back and I did some research on it, and it turns out that car keys give off electromagnetic signals and you can put those to your head and there's a bunch of water in your head and when the electromagnetic signals hit the water the positive and negative ions in the water bounce up and down in the exact same way that the pulse would from the wave and it ends up resonating just like an instrument would if you were playing a guitar the sound goes into the box and bounces around and it would come back out louder it's the same way but with a signal and when it ends up coming out it's amplified and it has a bigger radius ending up being able to reach the car Guys, that was the rumor there. It's been proved, and it's a neat little trick that you can use to find your car. If it's lost in a parking lot or something, you can increase that range and get better chances of finding your car.